Excellent. So, new comedy, uh, Spy, starring Melissa McCarthy. Um, third time working with her. Uh, what was it? What is it about her that makes you want to write for her? Uh, we're just very much in sync comedically. We both love funny characters, but we also love characters that are three dimensional, you know, and have a real, you know, emotional core. And you know, we never, neither of us ever want to do characters that are silly or that are, are stupid. You know, we want them to be good at something, or they become good at something, and they're, you know, but the, they're capable people. I think that's what works particularly well about this one is that she's not the butt of jokes all the time. She is actually good at her job. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's funny. When we first announced that we were doing it, everybody chose to wrote that she would be playing bumbling agent. It's like, no, she's not going to be bumbling. Like, I, that's not funny to me. I mean, I've seen other people do that. You know, Clouseau is obviously one of my favorite characters of all time. But but with her, yeah, I, I wanted to make sure, because I want to tell a real spy story. This isn't a spoof or a parody. It's a spy movie that happens to be funny based on the characters and the situations that, you know, and how they're reacting in those. Mm -hmm. So what is it about the spy genre that drew you? Uh, you know, I love I love that it can go so many places, not only physically with all the international travel, but it has, you know, danger, it has action, it has intrigue, and it has, you know, characters having to, you know, interact and kind of gain each other's trust. And to me, that's all great fodder for comedy, um, but also this is the great challenge is like, how do you make the action funny? How do you keep the stakes high and make the danger real while people are still laughing? But I think funny people in danger to me is a real, that's sort of the high, you know, that, that's a great springboard for comedy. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, um, as you mentioned, writing for Melissa, um, were the other characters written for the actors that you eventually got in the past? Some were, yeah, definitely. Miranda Hart, I, I wrote that part specifically for her. Uh, Jason, I, I wrote that part for for him. And then um, other people, we just kind of, you know, kind of came on board as we as we went along. Like, you know, when I found out that Jude Law had read the script and was interested, it was just like, I mean, I, I couldn't sign him up fast enough. <laughs> Uh, both Jason and Jude, not particularly known for comedy. Was that ever a worry in your mind oh, and how they would play it and how they would react? No, because all I care about, I know I, if somebody is a good actor, I can make them funny because I never asked them to be funny. You know what I mean? And my style of comedy is like, play it dead serious. We'll give you the funny, weird things to say and I'll put you in the weird situation where playing it straight will actually be funny. But don't try to be, you know, try to be jokey. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of it is particularly written quite um, strictly. So is there much room for improvisation? Oh yeah, we do tons, yeah. You, what I do is, you know, obviously the you know, spy story has to, be, has to be a tight story, but within those scenes, I know I have to get certain information out and I have to get from point A to point B, but then how we get there, that's where we can play around and, and we'll do improvs and they'll have ideas. I'll be writing stuff, I'll have some writers with me that are writing jokes, and we just get a lot of material. So when I get in the editing room, we can try it a bunch of different ways. Mm -hmm. You must have been asked to do a sequel to Bridesmaids, which was the massive hit. Um, right. Why have you not gone that way? And why have you continued to work with Melissa, but doing different projects? Well, I mean, Bridesmaids, that was, you know, since that was kind of Kristen Wiig's project, it was more up to her if she wanted to do a, a sequel. But I, I mean, I also, I get nervous about sequels just because what's so fun about a movie the first time is it's the origin story about seeing that character evolve. That said, you know, Spy, I think it would be really fun to do a sequel to, just because I, I love that now we've got this great team and we've got her, you know, working well. And so I think there's, you know, the adventures she could go on would be endless, I would think. Excellent. And how far have you thought about that? Is there anything in, in your mind that you've got lined up? Yeah, I mean, it definitely, I, I've already kind of know what the general story is and some of the situations and I've, have been doing some, some light writing on it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, after I do my next film that uh, we might slip right into that. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, hey.